It is a pleasure and an honor to celebrate and acknowledge the scholars and the leaders from the class of 2020. And while a few months ago, I never would have envisioned this sort of ceremony, the teachers and I are excited to reflect on and celebrate your high school accomplishments. Thanks to Mr. McGregor for putting together this collection of video montages. Most of all, thank you parents for allowing us the opportunity to work with your extremely talented, hardworking and intelligent children. The pleasure is all ours. Seniors, this is so close to the end of high school for you. We are on the downhill slope and we'll be meeting for the last time as you cross the stage on campus this Saturday. And unless you plan on competing in the Olympics, I don't imagine you'll get many more medals in your lives. So please make sure your parents do the honors and place the medals you received in last week's deliveries over your head and into place while you watch this virtual ceremony like this. And please, as soon as we finish up here, head right over to your kitchen for a dessert reception that I'm sure someone in your home has prepared for you. You've earned it. Congratulations. Let's get started. Thank you, Principal Layton, for getting us started this evening. I'm Jessup McGregor, your senior class assistant principal. Students, it's been such a pleasure watching you learn, work, laugh, and grow over the last four years. I can't believe how fast we've arrived at this event. I'm excited to jump right in, beginning with the Academic Merit Awards. As I introduce the award, you'll start to see names scrolling across the screen. This award is presented to students who have achieved a cumulative weighted GPA of 3.51 or higher for the previous 15 terms. This is no small accomplishment, and we are proud of each of the incredible 275 students who are eligible for this award. These students have truly dedicated themselves to becoming expert learners, have spent countless hours studying, practicing, listening, writing essays, building projects, and much, much more. All of this incredible work has paid off for these students, and as a token of recognition, each student has received a medal. It's time to put that medal on. We'll pause now to enjoy seeing the names of our friends who have earned this award. GBHS staff, congratulations to each and every one of these scholars. Next this evening, we'll take a moment to honor several important groups of students. Students, as we honor each group that you belong to, please stand wherever you are so that those who are with you can celebrate you. You should have already received your certificates, medals, or other items with the delivery last week. When we honor your group, be sure to put the items on if you haven't already. First, I'd like to honor the following students who have received one or many of the scholarships which are part of the Roseville Joint Union High School District Local Scholarship Program. Please join me in congratulating the following students. Earning the Bill Santucci Memorial Scholarship, we have Brandon Hilton, Emily Guzan, Faraz El Sharif, Stephanie Siu, and Zachary Haug. Earning the Edwin J. Shellhouse Memorial Scholarship, Faraz El Sharif. For the Eric Seidman Memorial Scholarship, Rebecca Nelson. For the Francis Albert Pink Lacrosse Scholarship, Kyra Kapos. For the Granite Bay FC Kendra Langham Community Service Scholarship, Colby Phillips. For the Granite Bay FC Men's Scholarship, Nathan Wong. For the Granite Bay FC Women's Scholarship, Emma Brewers. Earning the Granite Bay High School CSF Scholarship are Faris El Sharif, 
Anna Del Valle, Kara Kleinbach, and Theodore Tran. Earning the Granite Bay Rotary Club Paul Schabert Memorial Scholarship, Emma Tran and Faras El Sharif. Earning the John E. Rafferty Memorial Scholarship, we have Drake McDonald, Colby Phillips, and Katherine Thompson. Earning the Kiwanis Club of Roseville Scholarship, we have Lynn May and Robert Brown. For Outrunning Cancer, Coach Sturgeon Memorial Scholarship, we have Josh Anderson, Nathan Wong, Megan Ellis. Earning the Seroptimist International of Roseville Dream Scholarship, Kira Walchrist. And last but not least, earning the Summer Sanders Scholarship, Kyra Kapos. Congratulations to all of our local scholarship winners. We know that we hold high academic expectations at Granite Bay High School, which makes this next group of honorees all the more special. These students have achieved straight A grades during all their time at Granite Bay High School. As you hear your name, please stand where you are so those who are with you can celebrate your achievement. Alejandro Alvarez, Joshua Anderson, Dylan Bonzel, Nicole Crishon, Sophie Crishon, Megan Ellis, Ferris El Sharif, Cole Fowler, Isabella Januso, Faraz Gado, Hunter Sue, Davin Keshem, Pavan Murugesh, Rebecca Nelson, Turth Surdi, Catherine Thompson, Colin Wills, Nathan Wong, and Ashley Young. Please join me in congratulating these students for their achievement. This next group of students, and there are a lot of you, will be recognized tonight for attaining the California State Seal of Biliteracy. Let's pause and enjoy celebrating with our friends who have achieved the important skill of proficiency in more than one language, including English, Spanish, French, Ukrainian, and many more. major accomplishment. Next, we will recognize students for their community involvement and volunteerism through the California Scholarship Federation. If you are with one of these students, please celebrate with them wherever you are. These students include Emma Brewers, Michelle Carmichael, Ryan Cochran, Nicole Crishon, Hannah Del Valle, Megan Ellis, Faraz El Sharif, Faraz Gaudil, Kyra Kapos, David Kashev, Kara Kleinbach, Jeremy Kozlowski, Aiden Manny, Jenna Masagli, Kyle Miller, Alexandra Nash, Emily Nash, Rebecca Nelson, Adam Newman, Raul Patel, Renee Rainsbury, Ellie Scholes, Derek Schwarzy, Avani Singh, Matthew Soren, Turth Surdy, Claire Thompson, Theodore Tran, Kyle Paul Weber, Colin Wills, Nathan Wong, and Ashley Young. This next group of students will be honored for their work with the National Honor Society and were selected based on scholarship, leadership, service, and character. If you are with one of these students, again, let's celebrate with them wherever you are. These students include Ashlyn Bell, Cassandra Contemir, Izzy Chu, Ryan Cochran, Nicole Crishon, Sophie Crishon, Shreya Dodd Balpur, Megan Ellis, Faris El Sharif, Faraz Gadil, Sophia Harimoto, Trinity Lee, May Lin, Isabel Lux, Kyle Miller, Rebecca Nelson, Jeremiah Onyango, Avantika Panchapakesan, Ipsha Pandi, Derek Shorzy, 
Ellie Scholes, Stephanie Shi, Avani Singh, Matthew Soren, Theodore Tran, Nathan Wong, and Ashley Young. The last group we'd like to recognize have either successfully completed the academic commitment to achieve the International Baccalaureate Diploma through a two-year program of study, or completed a certificate of achievement in International Baccalaureate by completing several courses. Please feel free to embarrass these students and clapping and yelling if you're with them wherever you are. Earning the IB Diploma are Christine Antony, Tanya Barrett, Michelle Carmichael, Jiawen Chen, Ryan Cochran, Casey Giao, Hana Halal, Ipsha Pandi, Nabil Qureshi, Terth Surdi, Carolyn Tak, and Theodore Tran. Earning the IB Certificate of Merit are Leigh Acaso, Jake Cochran, Jessica Gong, Rebecca Gong, Shreya Ayer, Trinity Lee, Rishab Sud, and Kira Walchrist. Congratulations, IB Diploma candidates. We know you've worked hard for it. At this time, we transition to one of our favorite moments of the evening, which is when each academic department collaborates to recognize students from their classes who have made a positive impact, achieved high standards, or overcome obstacles successfully. Each teacher has recorded a short message to each student, which we hope you enjoy. Hello, graduating seniors. My name is Mr. Dolan. I teach in the engineering program of study. I'd like to announce two winners for our department award. These two individuals have worked tirelessly in our new fabrication shop. They have mastered the design and the manufacture of some awesome prototypes. I can't wait to see what they do at the college level. They're going to be uh, fantastic engineers one day. And I'm very glad to announce my department award winners are Jonas Lee and Oliver Jacobson. Congratulations. Hi, I'm Mr. Wycamp, and I'm the media and film teacher at Granite Bay High School. I'm here to present the award to JJ Hill and Matt Pincola. Both JJ and Matt have been in the program since they were young students at Granite Bay High School. JJ and Matt have both taken advantage of many opportunities at Granite Bay in our program, including the STN competition and convention. JJ, I will always remember your focus, your care for making sure things are done right, and for meeting a student who volunteers for projects because they want to help for taking risks in projects and productions, and for how much you've learned. Matt, I always remember your enthusiasm for graphics, how much time you spent learning and creating graphics into the night hours. Thank you so much for the big contribution to the planning and running of the first ever film festival we produced last fall. Above all, you both have shown the drive and the attitude to be successful. I will miss having JJ and Matt in both my classes next year, and I wish the absolute best for them. In the words of Marty McFly in the movie Back to the Future, if you put your mind to it, you can accomplish anything. Thanks. Hello, class of 2020. I'm Mr. Emery. I teach computer science. My department awards go to Eugene Chow and Emerson Ford. Both students show great aptitude in the field of computer science, but even more importantly, they face life and academics with a sense of grit, determination, and perseverance that certainly will benefit them, especially during this time. I'm certain that they will find great success in their academics and in whatever career path they choose. Hi, I'm Christy Honeycutt, and I'm here to present the Senior Award for the English Department. I'm honored to be able to present this award to two students who truly embody everything in which our English Department looks for when we think of this award. Each year we throw out a few names of students who stood out to us and then usually end up with a bit of a debate and a vote. However, this year I had two students immediately come to mind and when I suggested their names, I got a unanimous yes from everyone in the English department. Even teachers who have not had the pleasure of teaching these students know who they are and of their prolific love of learning, language and literature through their active involvement on our campus. These two students are far beyond their years in intellectual thought and the analysis they're able to do and have made me a better teacher and person for having the opportunity to teach them. I would like to present this award to Ashley Young and Rathip Rajakumar. Ashley and Rathip are incredible human beings who are actively working to make the world a more compassionate place through their creativity and passion for writing. Ashley attends writing workshops in her free time and writing is truly her passion. 
She has won many scholarships for her writing and Columbia University is lucky to have her this fall. Rathit performed a spoken word poem he wrote about love, inequality, and racism at our talent show this spring and made our campus a better place from having the opportunity to hear it. UCLA is lucky to have him join them this fall. Thank you both. Your love of knowledge inspires all of us in the English department. Congratulations, Ashley and Rathit. Hi Grizzlies, I'm Bernadette Cranmer and I'm the IB Diploma Program Coordinator. I'm honored to talk about our top two IB seniors. Our first award is being given by the IB faculty in recognition of the student who best represents the International Baccalaureate's ideal as described in the IB Learner Profile. Our IB faculty have chosen Michelle Carmichael as our outstanding IB senior. Michelle is a role model for her peers in striving to be a knowledgeable, principled, caring thinker whose aim is to be an internationally minded person who creates a better and more peaceful world. I am pleased to give the Outstanding Ivy Senior Award to Michelle, who will be attending Sacramento State University next year, where she will study to be a nurse. Our second award is the Granite Bay High School IB Student of the Year. Every year we choose one senior whom we feel is the strongest academic student in IB at Granite Bay High School. The award comes with a $250 scholarship from the California Association of IB World Schools. The IB faculty have selected Terce Surti for this award. He has consistently excelled in every IB course. He demonstrates that he is a knowledgeable, inquiring risk taker whose aim is to be an internationally minded person who creates a better and more peaceful world. I am pleased to give the Granite Bay High School IB Student of the Year Award to Turf, who will be attending the California Institute of Technology, where he will most likely study computer science and astrophysics. Thank you. Hello, I'm Tamara Givens, and I'm presenting the Leadership Awards to three four-year members who have devoted a total of 21 terms to student government. The first goes to ASB President Ivani Singh, who has dedicated herself to building relationships and impacting our student body by commissioning every 15 minutes, breaking down the walls, Ripple Effect Week, and the Leadership Summit, among others. With her goal of creating a campus of acceptance, she's encouraged all of us to embrace a new perspective this year and to truly seek to listen to and understand each other. Secondly, Kara Kleinbach has helped to create lasting memories for the class of 2020 at Floats, Junior Prom, Senior Sunrise, Senior Fifth Quarter, and she was looking forward to creating many more at your spring senior events. Amid the disappointment of not being able to provide you with these experiences, she's continued to uphold and connect with your class, creating an Instagram account to help celebrate your college decisions and virtually maintaining contact. With Kara at the helm, I'm sure that your future reunions will be amazing celebrations to make up for what you have missed this year. The last award goes to Samantha Jones, who has dedicated all eight terms to serving you. She is an incredible example of servant leadership and positivity. Whatever we need, she steps up to do with a smile. She has put on more rallies than anyone in our school's history and was hard at work on the Powder Puff Rally when school ended. The fact that we were not in school for the past two months does not lessen her impact of spending every day of high school in room 507, working on your behalf to make memories for you all. Thank you to each of you for your selfless sacrifice and commitment over these past four years. Hi, my name is Scott Becker and on behalf of the Granite Bay High School Math Department, it's my pleasure to give this Senior Math Department Award to Turth Surti. Turth has essentially taken every math course that we offer at Granite Bay High School and obviously done exceptionally well in all of them. I was fortunate enough to have Turth this year in my IB Math SL course and it was really great to see Turth not only, he's got obvious incredible academic mathematical ability, but I got to watch him help other students try to understand the math that they were looking at. And Turk did a fantastic job of not just giving other kids the answers because he was impatient or wanted to, you know, couldn't understand why they couldn't get it. But I watched him question and probe and lead other students to understanding instead of just trying to give it to them. So it's our pleasure, Turth, to award you with this Senior Math Department Award for this year. Congratulations and best of luck in the future. Hi, I'm Lisa Koontz, and I am here to present a senior award to Megan Ellis on behalf of the math department. So I actually had Megan in my AP statistics course and um, just a great overall student. All of her teachers, um, we agreed that she's hardworking and dedicated and, and that that's a great skill to have in math, obviously. And um, we just applaud her for that work that she's done. 
But in addition to that, um, I think what stood out about Megan was that she was always willing to be a mathematician. And by that, what I mean is like she was willing to look for patterns and she was willing to look for different methods to solve um, some of the statistical problems because that's really all math is. It's just trying to find patterns and numbers, trying to find patterns and figures. And in statistics, it's all about trying to find patterns and data. And um, she was always looking for those patterns and she was always looking to have a different method. I remember in class many times, um, we'd had a challenging problem up on the board and she would come up and present her method. It was totally different than when I had approached it. And she would come up with a different method and she would explain to the class. And um, it was just for some students an aha moment because it kind of made more sense. But that's really, truly, um, I think what stood out with Megan is that her willingness to think outside the box and try different methods and look for those patterns. So we just congratulate you, Megan, and know that you are going to do great in all your future endeavors. And um, yeah, congrats. Bye. Hi, everyone. I'm Andy Rothman, and I am honoring one of two amazing students that the PE department has chosen for our award. This award goes to Quincy Sanderson, who has been gracing our lives, our locker room, and our hearts for four years. I'll never forget when she was a freshman trying to take PE9. She had an injury which kept her out of participating. So she stepped up as a TA and practically ran that class. She wasn't in my class, but I remember watching her and I knew back then that she was something special. Her leadership skills as a freshman were out of this world. So Quincy, we are so proud of you and cannot wait to see where life's journey takes you. Please stay in touch. You're gonna crush it in Alabama. Hi, this is Dee Dee Walker and Bailey Walker. And I'm representing the PE department and awarding Dylan Samuel one of the PE awards. Dylan has taken a PE class or group fitness every semester he's been here at Granite Bay. We've seen a great growth in maturity and fun for him. And we just wanted to award him with this award. Congratulations, Dylan. Hi, my name's Kyle Holmes and I'm the director of theater arts at Granite Bay High School. Every year, we wanna make sure and acknowledge a handful of our seniors that have gone above and beyond during their time at Granite Bay High School to make theater at Granite Bay a really special place. While the class of 2020 is filled with some really amazing artists and individuals, I wanna make sure and acknowledge four people who have put in a lot of time over the past four years. Starting with their freshman year, these are students that have come in on weekends, stayed after school, taken all of the classes we have to offer and gone out of their way to mentor younger students. So for the class of 2020 Theater Department Awards, I'd like to acknowledge Grace Putman, Jack Dagoni, Blake Wilkerson, and Julia Taster for all of their hard work. Thank you. Hi everybody, my name is Lynn Lewis. I'm the band director here at Granite Bay and I'd like to present our band department awards. The first award recipient is our current flute section leader. She's an amazing musician. She's the, the piano player in jazz band and is also a great soloist in our concert band. She just performed by herself in a solo on Carnegie Hall when the band went to New York. I'd like to present this to Amanda Batiste. Our second award recipient is the current clarinet section leader. She cares a great deal about her section, is always motivated for the education of the clarinet players. Uh, she's a member of many honor bands, including our only person that was selected for the All-State Honor Band this year. I'd like to present this to Emma Becker. Our third award recipient is our current drum major. He's been the drum major for a couple years. He's a mentor to hit other sections, to the other drum majors, and is a member of our trombone section. A great guy with a great personality. This is presented to David Kaship. And our final award recipient is our current percussion section leader. He is also the drummer in jazz band and is an amazing jazz set drummer. He, it's not uncommon to hear him practicing for hours and hours and hours by himself after school. So I'd like to present this to Paul Stamets. Congratulations to everybody. Hey everyone, um, I have three students to uh, give these awards to. Uh, the first one is Philip Goebel, and uh, Philip has been in the program since I've started, and he is just one of the most dedicated students that I have. He has the biggest heart, 
who makes anybody feel welcome. He works very hard in order to get better as a musician and does not hesitate if he has questions to ask and is extremely humble, even though he doesn't necessarily have to be. Uh, my second student is Ethan Hahn. Uh, Ethan uh, has grown so much, not just as a musician, but as a person in the choir program. Um, he is one of the students who just is doing everything in choir. He has done honor choirs. He tries to do extra groups outside of class. He's has me for three periods right now uh, and uh, is one of the best students that I've had. Um, and my last, uh, my last award is for Alexis de la Cruz, who has been the choir president for the past two years. Um, she is really the brains of the operation, is what I like to say. Um, she is a great student who is able to keep things going and is able to really make sure that um, um, all of the business of what needs to be done helps, uh, helps me to get that done and um, has just been a great student to have. On behalf of the Granite Bay High School Dance Program, I would like to recognize for the Senior AMA Awards, Hannah Batarse, Nicole Bersinger, Charlie Emmett, Brenna Halloran, Ashlyn Holtman, Cameron Hunter, Kenzie Keith, and Caitlin Wade. And I would like to thank these dancers for their dedication, exceptional commitment, and contributions to the dance program. All of these talented dancers were amazing leaders who continually were committed to helping their peers grow as dancers through choreography and technique. And I would like to thank you for your continuous caring for others and always striving to be the best dancer that you could be. Thank you for investing in the Granite Bay High School Dance Program. Congratulations, seniors. We chose Joshua Anderson as our Life Science Award for the Senior Department Awards. Um, I've taught Josh in AP Biology for this past term, and while we only had a short time together due to our quarantine fun, um, I feel like I've come to know Josh really, really well, and that's just due to Josh's nature. He is super gregarious, and he just loves to get to know people and understand people and where they come from. He um, is the student that just reminds you why you teach every day and you just really look forward to seeing him and teaching him every day because you can tell that he loves to learn and he's really invested in his education. Um, he is kind, he's generous, generous and he is just so fun to be around and he tells some of the best stories that I've ever heard. He has faithfully come to every single one of my optional office hours and if it's just him and I, we just talk for an hour just about anything um, just to keep each other company and have some human connection during this time where we're all kind of sequestered. So uh, congratulations, Josh. You deserve this and I will see you soon. Bye. Hi, everybody. This is Brandon Delorto. I'm department coordinator for the social science uh, department. That's a little redundant, but to the time we live in in the coronavirus. As you can tell, I'm sitting in front of a very patriotic flag, which is part of what our department's all about, democracy, and flags that get in your way out there in the open. Well, we have three people for our pick for our department this year because we had a, a basically a tie, and you know, ties then go to the Electoral College, and the Electoral College just isn't meeting except in Zoom meeting stuff. Why is this flag doing this to me? But we had a, uh, a wonderful time with these kids. These three students are exemplary students. They've proven that they can not only understand the basics of economic history, political history, social history, governmental interactions, and the like. They can get great scores on the tests they take. And they learned the most important lesson in all of social science as far as American government is concerned. Uh, they each gave over $2,000 in unmarked bills to all of their teachers to influence the election, which is, which is important if you can't uh, somehow or another maybe you know get a foreign country to influence Facebook so these are our three incredible young people Megan Ellis Josh Anderson and Nathan Wong these are the social science departments wonderful perfect picks department award winners of 2020 the year of the COVID you guys are gonna do amazing things thanks for everything you've done for us hang in there class of 2020 you are incredible see you all right, so uh, we're at the ceramics visual arts department, and Mr. Cordell, Mr. Owens, decided Vanessa Yoder 
is the recipient of the AMA Award. Um, so she did an outstanding job. And so congratulations, Vanessa. Hi, this is Madame Guernet, and I'm here to present the World Language Award in French to Caitlin Fernandez. She's so deserving of this award. She's uh, an extraordinary student. She did a remarkable job all the way throughout our French program. She started with me in French one, going all the way through AP in her junior year, and just did an outstanding job. She's a, she's a great language student, uh, and she earned the highest possible um, score on the AP exam last year. So that in and of itself is really fantastic. What's really incredible about her is that she decided that she wanted to continue her French education. She really missed French, um, not having French her senior year, so she came back and was my TI in the fall uh, for a French one class. So she went in front of her peers and she became a teacher and I have so much respect and admiration for students who are willing to, to make themselves vulnerable in that way and put themselves out there. Uh, especially in a language um, which is very uh, difficult to do anyway. So she's just a remarkable human being. She's, she's generous and she's kind and she's funny and she's smart and she's just a pleasure to have in class. And um, I really, really enjoyed getting to know her the last few years. So I'm honored, thrilled, and so happy for her to give her this award in French. Congratulations. The six seniors I'm honoring tonight with English Department Publications Awards all served this year as senior editors of the Gazette newspaper and GranitebayToday.org news website. They have a combined 25 terms of experience on the staff. They've earned a combined 48 individual awards in state, regional, and national journalism contests. And they've helped the Gazette and GranitebayToday.org win the highest honors in the nation for scholastic journalism during their tenure the National Scholastic Press Association's Pacemaker Award, the Columbia Scholastic Press Association's Gold Crown, and Quill and Scrolls Gallup Award. It's an honor and a privilege to give the English Publications Awards for 2022, University of Oregon bound Corey Kaplinger, UC Santa Cruz bound Angelina Colosi, Pomona College bound May Lin, Sierra College bound Dylan Rowe, Columbia University bound Ashley Young, and University of Oregon bound, Lindsay Zeta. Congratulations. Class of 2020, there's a tender spot in my heart. And if Miss Sampson were right here, it'd be in her heart too, but she couldn't make it. She couldn't make it. She says, Bill, you want to make sure that our kids know how much we love them, miss them, and wish them the best as we move them along the way. We have two AMA awards. Special, special for the business department. First one, Emily Nash took every class we got, every class we've got in the last, I don't know how many years. So needless to say, Emily Nash, amazing. Now I gotta tell you, she's gonna go to one of the biggest business colleges, Humboldt State. She's going to Humboldt State. And we're ready, and why is Humboldt State famous? Redwood trees, because of the redwood trees up in Humboldt. Okay, second, oh yeah. Now when I hold this up, there better be a couple guys jumping up and down saying, way to go Dylan, way to go. Am I right, am I right? Am I right, am I right? Dylan is our number two, up, up, number one. It's cold, it's the same. So Dylan and Emily are our Award winners, department award winners for the class of 2020. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Now I gotta tell you, when you're the guy with the gray hair, you gotta wear this kind of stuff. Am I right? I wish I weren't right. Oldest guy on campus, thank you, Linda Dixon, pointed that out to me very clearly. Ladies and gentlemen, have a great day, great year, great future. We give you our best. Show them what we know at, at a Granite Bay High School. Thank you very much. This first student has taken the extra time and effort to be a leader and a positive influence on our school culture. Avani Singh has served for six terms in student government as, and is currently your ASB president. 
Last year, she was commissioner of every 15 minutes, and she has also served on cabinet. She played basketball and tennis for Granite Bay High School, so she's been busy. Avani is dedicated, polite, and fun, and has a really good pulse on your senior class. She leads by example and reaches out to many different people. She really believes in this year's theme, Embrace a New Perspective. She wants to hear what other people think and believe and what motivates them. Most importantly, she's very accepting of differences. She is willing to do anything that is requested of her by adults, even things she doesn't want to do. She came in last summer to help us with clerical and librarian interviews, and she has served a few terms in school site council. This last time as president. Avani will always answer honestly when asked what her classmates want, and she has been invaluable to me as I've struggled to figure out how to celebrate and honor our seniors. Avani, I'm pleased to offer you the Roseville Joint Union High School District Administrators Award and Scholarship. Congratulations. This next student is one of the most positive and energetic leaders I've seen on this campus. In fact, her response to losing all traditional spring activities her senior year was to make a video with seniors appreciating their school, their teachers, and each other. This is how Summer Holt approaches everything. She thinks about how she can bring light to the situation. Not only did she serve in student government for three terms, but she was also our first female tribe leader. She was the first student who was able to combine the culture building efforts of the tribe and student government in her role as tribe leader. She always supported campus events, worked together with student government to promote events, and generally produced a feeling of goodwill through her communications between groups. And let's be real here, the weeks she wasn't in front of the tribe were the weeks we had to do some damage control afterwards. Furthermore, she was literally the only reason the tribe was allowed another chance in the end zone on senior night. Last August, I watched her endless exuberance as a link crew leader during the freshman grizzly retreat. She never slowed down and was still frenetic while cleaning up at 10 p.m. after the dance. In fact, I told her she was crazy, and I meant that in the most endearing way possible. I couldn't believe she could maintain that level of energy throughout the entire day and evening. Clearly, I had underestimated her. Summer always has a positive thing to say about anything and everyone. I even received an email after our lockdown last year thanking me for making her feel safe throughout the ordeal, even though we were all very scared. Summer is also a gifted athlete and positive leader on the soccer field. Her skills as a goalie who encourages others to keep going, no matter the odds, are the reasons she's such an effective leader. It's impossible not to be influenced by her positive energy, no matter what the situation. Summer, I'm pleased to offer you the Roseville Joint Union High School District Administrators Award and Scholarship. Congratulations. At this time, please allow me to introduce Granite Bay High School counselors, Ms. Holly Minor, Ms. Navi Singh, and Mrs. Tiffany Geek to award this year's salutatorian and valedictorian recipient. Our GBHS salutatorian is Faraz Goodall. Faraz's most memorable experiences in high school were both his community service and internships. Faraz volunteered in Uruguay in the U.S. Department-sponsored Youth Ambassadors Program, where he gained clinical experience and more knowledge on the various issues facing their communities from government and nonprofit leaders. Faraz also spent time during the past four summers going on medical expeditions to rural Guatemala and El Salvador, where he served as a translator, organizer, and media liaison for clinics. Faraz speaks Urdu, Hindi, and Spanish, and loves to be able to connect with others from diverse backgrounds. His most memorable high school experience was being the team captain for this year's speech and debate team. Faraz is excited to be attending Princeton University in the fall of 2020. Congratulations, and we can't wait to see all that you accomplished. Honored to announce one of Granite Bay's valedictorians, Dylan Banzel. Dylan plans to continue his studies at Cornell University, where he plans to major in economics with aspirations to be an investment banker on Wall Street. Not only does Dylan have amazing grades, but he has been one of the few Granite Bay High School National Merit Scholar finalists, as well as he has earned a possible 
highest score of a 36 on the ACT. Dylan's most significant activities and community service while in high school include, he was vice president for the junior board for the Classical Masters Music Festival where he helps organize the festival and competition each year to promote classical music and has raised and donated over $50,000 in grants to underprivileged schools and students. He has been a four-year varsity te tennis athlete, which has helped develop lasting relationships throughout high school. They also went undefeated in league throughout his time at Granite Bay, as well as winning two section titles. He has played piano for eight years and has performed in the Certificate of Merit evaluation every year and has cultivated a love for the instrument. He is a founding member and co-president for Hands for the Homeless Club at Granite Bay, which is donated based tutoring club and has raised $6,000 in local homeless shelters. He volunteers his time at Dos Lenguas Univas and provides English language instruction for Hispanic youth and assists them with their homework. Dylan's most memorable moment while in high school was when he and his friends took a tablespoon of one of the hottest hot sauces in the world at the tennis court in his neighborhood. And they ran around in so much pain while their other friend gave them a glass of milk every two seconds. The hot sauce ended up having a 100% effective vomiting rate. They followed this painful experience with staying up all night to watch the 2019 Wimbledon in the early morning. Although the experience was paired with the worst pain he had ever felt in his life, it is still the most unforgettable. It has been a pleasure working with you, Dylan, these past four years. Congratulations on a job well done and best wishes on your further education at Cornell. Turk Suri, co-valedictorian, Granite Bay High School 2020, plans to attend California Institute of Technology in the fall to major in both computer science and astrophysics. He built his interest in these areas while completing internships during the summer at both Intel and the UC Davis Cosmos program. He recently was awarded the Ivy Student of the Year by his Ivy teachers. They went on to describe Turf as a student by saying he's a risk taker, he's internationally minded, he's knowledgeable, he aims to make the world a better place. Most memorable moments for Turf include hanging out with friends in the library cracking jokes and playing games on his phone each day during lunch, or going on trips with his Ivy friends, or on the freshman tennis team where he was cheering on his friends or a part of a really close match. Turf, we know you will go do wonderful things in this world. We wish you the best of luck. Congratulations. Well, this has been a wonderful time celebrating the accomplishments of the class of 2020. You all have put in the extra work it takes to be stellar students, and we applaud your success. Bask in the glow of your high school achievements. You've certainly earned this recognition. Congratulations, and we'll see you on Saturday.